What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back on the beautiful M1000RR, and in today's video, we're going to talk about if we should keep the very beautiful M1000, if we should sell it, if we should butcher the holy crap out of this thing and just make an all-out race bike. Right now, we're about to hit some curvy roads, what I love best. So, I'm just, I'm on the fence. You know, I keep this thing stock height, stock wheelbase for a reason. Because I love doing this kind of stuff here. You know, getting out curvy roads. You know, that's what I do. I kind of have it set up now for roll racing. Because I love doing that as well. But I'm really on the fence of what I want to do with this thing. And figured I'd bring it up to you guys and uh, leave it up to you on what you guys think I should do with this thing. Should I keep it, sell it, you know, build the motor in this fucking thing? Mm -hmm. What should we do? monster I love this thing to death I do not want to sell it before we get in real quick I gotta be super freaking careful today because it is cold out I cannot be flying through these corners like I usually do it's only like 55 degrees out but anyways all right what do we want to do with the M1000 do we want to build I've been really thinking here lately do we want to build the motor in this thing do we want to build this motor or do we want to buy like an S1000 motor and build that and put it into the M1000 and then butcher the thing and have it for roll racing. Nobody that I know of, nobody I've seen on the internet, except for, I think I've seen maybe one, and I don't even know if it was an M. It looked like an M. I don't remember if it was a full out, like an actual M that was butchered and scratched, all that. But it was overseas somewhere. But nobody here has an M1000 that stretched, lowered, you know, ready for roll racing. You know, as my good buddy 650E would say, butchered to death, you know. Do I want to butcher the thing? I don't know. So, I'm still on the fence on what I want to do. I got this winter to think about it, you know. I don't think I'm going to do it this winter, but got this winter, you know, next summer, and then maybe next winter? That's my, when I, you know, I make my decision on what we're going to do at the end, whether we, you know, butcher the thing to death. We just keep it the same. Keep it the same as is. Who cares? Or uh, what do we want to do with it? Because I, I love my curvy roads here, even though I'm not flying through them like I usually do. I'm taking it easy because it's cold. But this is where I live. You will see next summer whenever I have my van and I'm traveling, this is what I'm going to be out doing. I'm going out west. I'm going to the Grand, you know, the canyons and riding in the canyons. We might even hit up California and hit up their beautiful freaking roads out there. Might try to get a hold of, uh, I know Josh Heron's out that way and he does a lot of freaking meets out that way too. You know, I might do some riding with uh, Josh Heron next year and stuff like that. So I gotta have a bike that I can ride the twisties on. I don't wanna have this lowered. I have my R1, but it doesn't have auto blip and stuff. And it's not, you know, it's not GP shift at the moment. So there's a lot of things my R1 can't do. So I could butcher this and have it set up for roll racing. And I could buy something else for the twisties. Or I could keep this the same. And I want to buy, like, I really want to buy an H2. And I'd have my H2 for roll racing. That would just, it would... I mean, there's a lot of people I could ride with with belt motors, so that would be a lot of fun because it wouldn't just be blowing everything out of the water because I race with a lot of people that have built motors and stuff, so it would be fun to still have the H2. Uh, so I could still keep this the same, you know, and uh, get the H2 and build that up and have that. I don't know, I'm leaving it up to you guys. What do you guys want to see on the channel next year? You know, we're going to have the van. We're going to be traveling to all these different places. I tried to travel as much as I could this year, but 
it was hard not having the van because it didn't come as soon as it should have uh ford is on strike if anybody there we go if anybody is at ford in kansas city that watches my freaking channels please hit me up on youtube if you can help a brother out please let me know my van is in kansas city right now it is built but ford is on strike at the moment and i'm also waiting on parts so if anybody at ford watches my videos please hit me up on instagram that m1k guy on instagram and let me know if we can work out some kind of deal let me know what's going on give me more updates than the dealer can give me but yeah we're still waiting on the van so that's why this year's kind of been like you know travel when i can and stuff like that because i don't have my van yet but as soon as i get my van we're going everywhere everywhere we're gonna be traveling if you guys have like texas texas has a humongous bike scene in texas huge freaking roll race bike scene in texas so i plan on going there for sure you know if you guys have huge bike scenes and would love to you know race me and meet that s1k chick and even race her you guys want to freaking get out and ride with us let me know because i'm going to start planning next year's events because i should have the van here hopefully before long definitely have it by next summer so we do have a Miami meet at the beginning of the year that I hope I have my van for. Because we are going to have a Miami meet that uh, I do not want to miss. And I have to have the van for that because we're going so far. But yeah, what do you guys want to see with the M1000? Keep it on the channel or not. But since we're stuck in traffic at the moment, I guess this is where I'm going to cut my video. Because I'm getting ready to run into the gas station all this cold weather Whew, man gotta get inside and get warmed up a little bit my hands are for reason but go ahead and check out my description down below a lot of discount codes guys check out my description i'm trying to move stuff around and rework it where it's easier for you guys to read and stuff but definitely check out the description for there's so many discount codes down below save you guys a ton of money I make a little bit off of each of the cells, so that helps out the channel as well, especially with me wanting to travel next year. I need your guys' help with that. Check out my Patreon as well. I got it up and running. I haven't posted a ton over there yet just because I don't have any Patreons over there. Once I get more Patreons and stuff over there, I will be posting way more content on Patreon. And especially once I get the van, there's going to be a lot of Patreon-only uh, Patreon content. I can promise you that. So definitely help me out over on Patreon and stuff as well, guys. I need all the help I can get. But until next time, guys, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I will hit you guys up in the next one. Ride safe, everybody.